Hello everyone, my name is Jeremy. I'm here to walk you through the QuickBooks Online and Tax 1099 importing process. To start off, we're going to want to make sure that we're inside of our QuickBooks Online account because we're going to go through our vendor data, make sure that everything's set up properly, and make sure that the track payments for 1099 option is selected. So to do that, we're going to go to the left hand side, hover over expenses, and click on vendors at the bottom. Now that we're on our vendors tab, we're going to go through each one of our vendors, go through their information, click edit, locate the track payments option for 10 i 9 as well as make sure that all of their information is correct. Make sure that that's selected and click save. I'm going to repeat the process for each vendor in your account. Now, the next step would be to go to expenses and vendors again. But this time, we're going to go up to the top right and click Prepare 10 i 9s Now this will take you into the QuickBooks Online Mapping process, where you're going to go through and map which accounts you actually want to upload into tax 9com As well as at the end, you'll be able to see the total amounts as well as who all will be pulled over into tax and I-9. Once you have your accounts and vendors mapped, you're going to want to go into the app section over here on the left, search tax to I-9, and click get app now. Once you select that, you're going to want to select which firm your application is getting installed in you're going to want to select the firm where your vendors and accounts are located. Once I select that, I'm going to click install and it's going to go ahead and install the tax and 99 application into my firm account. I'm going to click connect and if I'm already logged in to tax and 9 it should pop me right into the website uh, where the importing instructions are located. If I'm not logged in, however, I'm going to go up to the login button, log into my account, go to the left hand side, select import, and click on QuickBooks Online. I'm going to click connect to QuickBooks, and it'll establish the second half of the connection. Once that connection is established, I should be able to select a year, which form I actually want to upload my vendors to, as well as which client or firm that you selected that will pull your information from within QuickBooks Online. Then I'll click Proceed. I'll go ahead and click Start New Import since we're doing a new one. Now this is the mapping process once you're inside of tax 99com when we mapped the vendors and accounts inside of QuickBooks Online, that is where we selected which accounts that we're actually wanting to upload. And now that we're in here, we go ahead and select these drop down menus where we can then select which accounts that we're actually want to, wanting to import into the system. Once we select that in whichever box, we're going to go ahead and click Next, click OK to bypass the uh, accounts that we didn't select. And that will take us inside of the import grid. And this is the halfway point to getting your information saved. The rest you just have to do inside of the import grid, verifying the information if there's any sort of missing or invalid data, opening that up and making any sort of fixes. Our system should highlight any sort of missing or invalid fields. You just make the changes to those fields and then update and that should fix the data. Once your data is fixed, you're going to want to make sure that the total amounts that are pulling over matches the amounts that were shown in the mapping process inside of QuickBooks. If the amounts shown are incorrect, you can simply click edit and make the changes here as well as switch which box you're actually importing those funds into. 
Once you've made the changes, you click Update. And before you actually save your form, you're also going to want to make sure that the correct number of people show up as well. Then, once I'm ready to actually save my information, I just click the check boxes on the left, click Next, and then my forms are successfully saved inside of my Tax and I 9 account, ready to be submitted, mailed, previewed, or edited. And that wraps it up for the QuickBooks Online demonstration. Thank you.